What's going on, y'all? It's episode two of Capital's Corner. Tonight, I have a very special guest. I'd like to introduce my brother, Mr. Grip. Yo, get it, get it. Get, get a, a grip. grip. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This mm-hmm. was a kind of surprise episode. Right. I was right. not expecting this whatsoever. He pulled up to chop it up real quick, and then the conversation just got to a point where we just said, yo, we, we got to cut the cameras on. Yeah. We, we, we got to cut the cameras on. So I'm trying Def- to see if we could pick up where we left off. Yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, go yeah. from there. Yeah. Yeah, we was talking about, yeah, and then, yeah I was getting back about, we was talking about, um, I was saying how how when I moved when I moved from uh, I went to two different high schools I went to Hempstead High School for two years and then I moved to Far Rockaway and then that's when um I used to go to school with stacked bundles you know what I'm saying but back then of course when I was going to school I didn't he wasn't stacked bundles you know what I mean yeah he was Raekwon and you know he he was everybody was regular you know what I'm saying I was always into music just to get that out the way whatever but long story short like you know. I used to see the nigga. Um, um, he was from from like yeah, from like Red Front at that time. You no, know, cause I had a couple of a lot of, a lot of my family's from the city. I'm from Long Island, and that's another thing. But that, but this is a whole nother show. So being from Long Island is trying to get being the game game just just privy. You from Long Island? You come to the boroughs? Long Island really yeah, to to the boroughs ain't got nothing to do with the boroughs. But the whole thing is Long with we're part of New York, so New we York, feel like. Yeah. And me, I say I'm a I'm a cat <clears> like. Even though I'm from Long Island, this shit don't even matter because I always been in the city. I always I lived in Brooklyn. I lived in Marcy Projects. I lived in Far Rockaway. Uh, I I got my family's originally from the Bronx. You know what I'm uh, saying? So, so I I got all of that feed. Yeah, you you know what I'm saying? But then on top of that, I grew up in Long Island, so I got this. To me, I feel it's a gift. And I ain't even gonna say it's a curse, but to me, it's a gift to me because I got to see both sides of Facts. Long Island and the city, and I get to see. I say the same thing. Mm-hmm. Growing up in Queens, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Then coming to Long Island, it's a whole nother vibe. It's a whole yeah, nah, nah, nah. It's you, definitely you see a whole, it's a whole nother vibe. Yeah, and and then I feel like a lot of long growing up, a lot of Long Island dudes. I won't even say that. I feel like we more have something to prove to show that we just as tough or just as. You know what I'm saying? As, 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 as the as, Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I understand <laughs> the boroughs is, is different. The Long when a nigga that's you, if you either know if you from the boroughs, you either know about Long Island or you don't. That's just cut and dry. It's that's nothing. A fact. That's a fact. It ain't no. That means if you dealt, if you had because you uh, there's a lot of motherfuckers from the boroughs that never even been in Long Island. You, you gotta look at it like this: <clears throat> if you from Bronx, Brooklyn, mm-hmm. Staten Island, Manhattan, mm-hmm. you don't know. Exactly. You don't yeah. know about the island. Yeah. But if you from Queens, yeah. the border's right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Elmine is right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. My yeah. first ventures on the Long Island was crossing that bridge right there yeah. on the Cross Island. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Going into Elmine. Yeah, yeah. So it's a whole you, you see like niggas from Queens know. Like I go down one like I'm I'm from I'm from Hollis. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I moved to the Ville, mobbed in the Ville for a bit. Mm-hmm. You go down one fifteenth. Yeah, yeah, You're crossing yeah. in the Dutch Broadway. The Dutch Broadway, yeah, yeah. That's Long yeah. Island. That's, That's Elma. Long Island. That's Long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying yeah. you go, you go down Linden. Mm-hmm. You got Valley Stream. Yeah, yeah. So it's like you, you, you in, you know Long Island. Yeah, yeah. Niggas drive to it. But you know what? The whole thing is, I feel a lot of shit is bullshit to me because the whole thing is, I'm from Long Island, but the average what a lot of people. My block, where I'm from, I'm from Hempstead. My block is Terrace Ave, Terrace Avenue. I hear about Everybody that. Everybody heard about Terrace <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> I didn't even get to say it. I don't even go I didn't even get to say it. I'm from, nah, when I, I say about, Terrace yeah. Avenue, I'm from, and ain't even no point of me trying to, bro, yo, this, that, Terrace, you know. Yeah. It's just what it is. Nah, you know facts, what I'm saying? Facts, facts. I had niggas from Brooklyn. I'm talking about straight murder, niggas that killed niggas, niggas that got shit, that blood stains on a gun, did seven years, eight years, whatever the case may be. I swear to God on my soul, son. Niggas like, yo, it's just one. This is just one one incident. This ain't the first. This is one incident. This dude was like, yo, he was from Brooklyn, right? He had he did his whole thing from Brooklyn. I worked with the nigga in, in shop right years ago in 2002. And the nigga was like, yo, he said, he just came home from jail. He just, he he just, well, he, he was involved with a body situation, but he ain't catch it, but he was just, whatever, he ain't snitched. So whoever caught the body, yeah, right, yeah. they did their years, but he did seven, eight years, whatever yeah, the case may down, be. Though. This held is, it yeah, down. he held this shit down. So we, we, we in a, we in a break, man. I don't know a lot of people that work at Walmart, shop, wherever work, job you at, people in the circle, you have black people, you get to know each other, you in a break room. The break room talk could get whatever it is. So he just talking and he's like, yo, I'm from Brooklyn. He he, he got that. She's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? His mom's working the spot. And 
everything. So he just like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. He just came, he just came home from jail. He's like, I don't oh. know nothing about no Long Island. I call this shit the Lost Island. And the whole <laughs> thing is, the break room is filled with so okay. everybody in there from Long Island, including myself. No, so I'm just laughing. I'm agreeing with him. I'm like, yo, I'm, I feel you because I know he don't know. But he said, yo, even the chick chicks was like, yo, yeah, Long Island, nigga. I'm just listening. I'm just observing. I like the dude. You know what I'm saying? Nah, the, yeah, he, if he's valid, you move right. Yeah, through. yeah, yeah. So he was like, yo, he said, but one one area I did hear about those I'm trying to say I heard about Terrace Ave. And it's funny, this happened a number of times. I was like, oh what? I'm from Terrace Ave. He like, worse. So then the move forward, me and him click L. It was not not a thing, whatever. But the whole thing is, Terrace Ave, I grew up, it was different. It wasn't like we ain't there and when I'm when I say for Hempstead is divided into three different parts. So it's like, no, no, my, my bad. I'm kind of, this thing got me sipping. So I said three different parts. Pardon me. I'm a little hit. But no, Hempstead is divided in different hoods. Hempstead is the hood itself, but it got other hoods. It got a hood Within called it. Parkside. It got a hood called Trackside. I it got a hood that. called The Heights. It got I a hood called Terrace Ave. So it's it it's like, yeah, it's okay, man, man, so. man, different hoods. But my particular block, you know what I'm saying? I'm speaking for my block. We, My block was is like one of the known biggest drug blocks. It's heavy drug activity, murders, all types of shit going on, prostitutes. Motherfucker, we, we got so much history on that block. So it's like... Me just growing up on tape, just happening. I did 17 years on that block. I lived there since I was on. I'm a. I, I was born on that block, and I moved off the block in 1998, 1999. And just I seen so much shit on that block. It's like me going anywhere else. It wasn't really nothing uh, to me. I yeah. I got certain shit. I know how to survive. I yes. know about this. I know about that. I know about. But I got like 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 just to say one way. <laughs> I was 12 years old. I seen somebody the first time I seen the last time I seen somebody get shot right in front of my face. I was 12 years old. And it was just a normal day. I'm 12 years old. Just just coming out of my my, my, my the, the part of the building. Boom. I heard the shot. And I seen the body drop. Boom. Niggas across the street, whatever. I'm like, I'm like, oh shit. Man. But I ain't know I didn't know it didn't register. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I seen the I'm like, oh shit. Um, I'm like, oh, well, let me go this way. You're 12 years old, Let me go go this way. I see, but at that time, it's like, well, nowadays, I'll be like, oh, Oh, no, niggas as well. But it was just like, it was just like, okay, nigga, I'll say, so I found out later who it was. I I, I, I knew the person. Find Mm. out it was my cousin and shit. But he ain't die, die, whatever. But that was just shit, shit. Like, so it's like, like, it's like, I can't speak for every other person, but it's like me going here, there. I have already, I got a certain thing just being in the hood where I'm from. It's like, I have, I know I have certain survival instincts. You of know course, what I'm saying? Of course, and, and one thing I say, I learned a lot of street smarts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, I was able to be in certain hoods. You and, know how and to maneuver. I know how to move. Facts. Yeah. Basically, that's why I'm even coloring this shit up. I know, I know how to move. So... You know what I'm saying? When I when I when I start going going to um and I was always back and forth in the city, but officially when I moved to Far Rockaway, that was a whole nother ball game. But it wasn't nothing, nothing I wasn't ready for. But it's certain things I said, oh, it was like it's more different. like yeah, it's like more like this is on deck, right? Like like my block, it's like okay, this shit can happen right here, right mm-hmm. here, right now, anytime, all day, twenty four seven. When I wake yeah. up, when I come out the crib, when I go to the store, wherever. But if I go over here and chill for a second, I go to My the arcade. Eye. I'm chilling. In this particular shit, the whole area everywhere. is like everywhere you go is just like, and it could just be random shit. A fucking gay, not not, not even not gay bashing motherfuckers. A fucking homosexual would just rob you and shit or set you up. <laughs> nah, that'd I'm be not the even vibe, niggas, A homosexual would just yo, rob you with like that. Little, niggas or, gotta eat too. Yeah, straight up. So that, it's that's like the thing, like the hood life. There's mm-hmm. no I right, niggas no I right, gay nigga in it, but the hood life. Yeah, is is something that we we learn and adapt to. So just exactly. because like you and I know gay niggas, I got no problem with gay people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It is what it is. Shout out to y'all, do y'all thing. Yeah. But even if you gay, but you raised in the hood, you raised around gorillas. Yeah, straight up. Straight you gonna up. be a gorilla. Yo, let me tell you something. Another thing too. Me growing up, listen, I grew up around crackheads. I grew up around killers, murderers, drug dealers, hustlers. I grew up around, we call them, and no disrespect, but growing up as a kid, we called them faggots. You nah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, was... No disrespect. But let me tell you something. The 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 faggots or whatever the case is, them, 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 they could probably beat 
80 percent of the, the regular so-called tough niggas these uh, niggas were these niggas got hand, they yeah. men just like yeah, us they are they just got their they own got a preference whatever they do these yeah. motherfuckers like straight yeah, up these preference. niggas is men like that shit don't well, even they, make yeah. a difference they do, they'll tell you a they, nigga i'll whoop your ass and throw the hands. i take this tutu off the skirt off and yeah. i'll knock you and your father the fuck yeah. out at the same time and they work. so you know what i'm saying That's so it's like running around putting in work that shit ain't, you know what I mean? That That's shit ain't about so. That's the game. So it's like I like like I I seen it's like I go to different place and I see, I like I I, I seen when the first time when I went from when I went to Far Rockaway High School. Now now to get back on that point, the first the first uh, and my mom's because I was getting in trouble and shit like that. That you know what I'm saying? I caught a case early now, sixteen years old, trying to fight my case. You know what I'm saying? My first charge, uh, uh, robbery, whatever. I, you know, and get to the details of that right now. But so my mom, she was trying to put me in different schools. So she decided she wanted to, um, I was supposed to go to school out in Uniondale, whatever the case is. But it worked out more better because she was trying to make me go to church and. Uh, I said it was just a whole lot going on. So, mama business. Yeah, she was yeah, doing yeah, mama yeah, business. yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing and, wrong with that. And I and I felt you know my pops just left. Like I went through from the age of thirteen, like to have a pop. It, like I feel like I tell a lot of motherfuckers. I know a lot of motherfuckers that that never even seen their father. So that's a different hey, aspect. Here we go. Of right here. Yeah. And it's like I say like that's that's a crazy situation too, but. I'm telling, I tell them type of dudes, I don't understand that because I had a father, you know what I'm saying? And I tell motherfuckers, I say, yo, from my perspective, it's better for you. I don't even say this is my, this is my opinion. I say it's better to me to not have, not known, have known, have had a father than to have one and to have him just leave your, you your see, family. see, I, I disagree to an mm -hmm. extent. To an yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. I, I don't know if you, you you know the saying it's better to have loved and lost than yeah. never not yeah, you know, yeah, never yeah, loved yeah, at all. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I look at that in that perspective because I say yeah. it's good to at least know of a positive real male yeah. role model yeah. rather than to never have one. Mind yeah. you, I think I'm valid. Yeah. I think I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I think mm -hmm. my mama did a phenomenal job. I mm -hmm. think the hood, I learned from the hood. I learned from outside experiences. You know, mm -hmm. I've been in both and also like like we said, yeah. been on the island. I've been Queens, yeah, yeah. moved to Long Island, you know what I'm saying? So I got different aspects of, you know, everything. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like I would have loved, and to this day, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I would have loved to have at least known my father. Yeah, 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 So yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the kind of, because you could build a profile on somebody in, in, in 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, At least yeah, in my yeah, 20 yeah, minutes, you build yeah, a profile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would at least like to have known him yeah, for yeah. at least a short amount of time while yeah. I had a, a, a general understanding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rather than to just never know him. I'm like, damn, yeah, Joe, yeah, who's my yeah, pops? Yeah. What does she look like? How does she... And that's Move. and that's and that's where we learn from each other because that's where because I'm just giving you my purest perspective nah, and, I, and I can't say you wrong for what you saying just I like can't you can't say, say you, you disagree and that's Facts. just what it is you know what I'm saying but it's like it that's hurts. good because when it comes because because then I then I can get that understanding but I want to show them the understanding would because growing in my block where I was from it was it was abnormal to even have a two-parent home it was only like two which i was one of the families two other families out of 100 to 500 niggas that had two parents in the house my crib so it was like my pops was like the pops. half of the pops of the hood like we had a car it was a fucking it was crazy you if you had a car they used to call my family the cosby's I swear to God, we had my, my 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 pops was a construction worker, so we we was still in the we was on section eight and everything. Nah, but y'all we got toys. We had Nintendo. Yes. We had the I had thirty games. Facts. I had Facts. yo. I had Facts. I had the bikes. I had the BMXs. I had the. I'm not even gonna flex, mm -hmm. even though my mother was solo dolo. Yeah, I still had it good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mind yeah. you, she's working. Yeah. I was with my godmother, you know what I'm saying? My god sister, my godmother, and shit like that. But yeah. she was grinding. She was grinding, yeah. So when Sega I had Sega when Sega yeah, yeah, dropped. Yeah, dropped. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Anytime she took, like, she would that shit down and play the game with a nigga. Mm -hmm. So it's shit like that that really, like, oh, my mom's is my nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will do anything for my mom. Straight I'm up. at this point in my life, I'm 28 years old, my nigga. If somebody, I'll violate for my mother. Like, that's my oh, mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you know automatic. And I look like, I, I, say, I say, I don't care about my father. Mm -hmm. I don't. In all reality, I don't because it's like mm -hmm. I got I got two daughters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm the man. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not worried about nothing. Like I, they need shit. Whatever, whoever need. I, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Mm -hmm. Even my people, like y'all need. I, I got y'all. Yeah, so yeah. it's it's without yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like if 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 I had my father, I'd have been weaker. 
Mm. I'd have been weak as a man. I think I would have been a little bit if he was there from Deep. birth to me right now, and he was up like upstairs right now. I'd be weak. I'd mm. be weak. See. Because, no, no, nah, nah, I was gonna say, see, I don't even know what to say, but that's deep. That's something to think about. I don't even know what to say about that because that's 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 what I would say with that is that one thing I don't take nothing from my father because when my father, when my father was around, I haven't seen my father in over thirty years. You know what I'm saying? When he left, he left when we was um when well when I was um fourteen years old. He Did left, you have a look? He he he, he left. Nah, I don't even get no. Once he left, I was like, I don't fuck that. Yo, for, first of all, I ain't even have a fucking relationship with my father anyway. I, right, I felt his love, so but I ain't fuck with my pop pops was, like uh, that anyway. So I really didn't give a fuck. To this day, I, I don't give a Google fuck. Don't, don't, and shit. Yeah, nah. The only the Facebook. only reason why I don't <laughs> for because it's like I didn't. In, he had other kids. He got nine kids. You know what I'm saying? So it was like I'm his youngest son, and he got another son even after me. Wait, but, what? I, this is about to be some weird questions, real quick. Though. I'm about mm -hmm. to ask you a series of questions. <laughs> What's his nationality? Um, he just, as far as I know, he just black. But All the right. whole thing is, my father, he's Muslim. I'm about to saying? ask what religion yeah, yeah, does yeah, he yeah, follow. He, he not even. He's like part of the nation of Islam. When okay. a when a when a he's like a he's from Harlem actually, oh. and when around a renner, he's like a Renaissance black man. Yes. Around the time when. Not when Malcolm X, when the whole doing nation, the rebirth of Harlem was, was transitioning, it's not he's part of that movement. Okay, he's part of the militant. There's Muslims and there's militant Muslims. There's motherfucking Muslims the that will sit Muslims. there and kidnap your ass. And my pops, he's Muslims. one of the militant Muslims. I admire. We them. always had weapons in our crib. Yeah, All my yes. anybody, you can ask anybody from my hood. They come to my hood when my pops had the time. He'll sit them down. He'll, he used to teach everybody because he knew jujitsu and martial yes. arts. He know the martial arts. He had swords, swords in the That's crib. That's what I want to do. Guns, with the Girls. All all types of shit, you know that's what I'm what saying? That's what I want to do. I'm building Which, them so they can understand weaponry, understand. And, and it's that's not violence. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not it's protection. Not like, like, it's it's and discipline. Yes. And on top of that, that's something that my mom, my, I, my, my, that my mom's didn't give us. But it didn't matter. All my mom's gave us. She's still here to this day. So that's mom. So she got her own bag. You bless, know what I'm saying? But he. Bless. He got he brought that. He taught niggas how to what the horse stance is. Yes. He watched Charles Bronson. He yes. showed all my friends their first gun. He had the dirty Harry swords. Ah. He had Shuriken stars. So my pops was like, you told you about the stars. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna front. Yeah, any nigga facts, that know me, facts. any nigga that wasn't from my block, I swear to God, yo. Even my friends to this day, you can ask any. I'm NFO grip, yo. Straight up. Andre Mc, they know me. Anybody that's Shout from out to my the crowns, block, man. Shout out to if the seven, you, crowns. seven crowns, get it. NFO all day, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that didn't know me, anybody that didn't, that wasn't from my, well, they, it, it, you, you could be from my block, but if you've never nah, been yeah. in my crib, the initiation to walk past my door, soon as you, soon you come in my door, there's a closet, and you open up the closet, it's my pop's closet, the oh. only closet that he had. Yeah, that that's where he kept his construction work because he, he was everything construction worker, uh, plumber, all of that shit. But that's on, something on, to admire. I give him yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's what made always made 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 me want to be a designer architect. I don't. I I he was a carpenter, but it was this dude named George from uh, Manhattan, and he was rich. He was a millionaire oh, that my pops worked for, and okay. he allowed us to stay in his mansion for a weekend one time. Uh, but George had a, a apartment in Manhattan, and he had a mansion in the Hamptons, and he had. A, um, a house on in, in the island that somewhere. That Hamptons mansion. Yeah, and we stayed in his mansion in the Hamptons. The shit had shit was big as hell. The front yard was a was a playground, and the backyard was the beach. It had Sheesh, seven rooms, yo. and each rooms had a balcony to the indoor pool. And the living room was big as hell. We actually sat there. It was me, my my my, my, my god brother Tragic. He uh, he he. That's my god brother. He another rapper too. Shout out to Tragic and the whole Drew family. And it was um me and my brother, my brother Touch. We sat there, but I didn't get to. Nah, but I, I want to get 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 to when yo you come to my crib. You come to my crib. Now you walk in my door. There's a closet. I open the closet. There's weapons, right? There's these two double dragon swords. It's, mm. it, it's called, my pops taught me this. It's called a junior and a senior. The senior, they both identical swords, but the senior is bigger, is, is taller, and the junior is smaller. They both, I said, one, one, one is smaller. And he had the Jason Machete. He had Shariq and Stars. He had the Nightstick. A lot of men to Muslim know about the Nightstick. The Nightstick is just a real big-ass Conan-looking sword, but it's not metal. It's wood. 
And that's what the military, that's what they used to I practice. I got one of those. That's the training one. Nicole, yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about that. That's what I use. Talk about that's that. what I use. It's good when you throw the vest on. You yeah, throw yeah, yeah, vest yeah. On, and it's heavy. Yeah, you yeah. It's long. Like you learn how to. So if you can master that, the the awkwardness and the shape and the length. You, and by the time you get to the blade, you're valid. You like Jackie Chan, nigga. Butter. You fucking niggas up. So, nice. so of course, I ain't say I mastered it, but I was nah, grew but up around it. it yes. So any nigga that come to my crib that wasn't from, that never been in my house, the initiation was, you gotta survive getting pat walking past me. So I pull out, but I'm playing with niggas though. But nah, they don't, they don't know. They just getting to know me. I pull out both of the swords and start swinging them shits, doing some straight bomb bomb shit like. Swinging it behind my back. So I, I did you learn that from your father? Nah, that that I told I you told played, I told that you myself. Around with the stuff I told yeah, house. while while he wasn't around, right. I used to always take his swords and All just right. swing them just around. Talking chicken, I've been the colonel, been popping corn kernel, getting money with a small circle. General, my heart purple, fifties uh. on me, hundreds on me, getting fast money, y'all grind turtle. Back. Swag on Steve out that machine, still focus my mind, Urkel. Whoop. Bag on Max, swag on Max, and my mind on racks. Uh -huh. House on Villa. Four, five car train dogs to attack. DJ Niggas where they on, but they wrong, cause I buy these songs, it's all facts. Cut ties, I'm a real nigga. No strings attached. Right, right. 